What's up family? Welcome back to yet another episode on my YouTube channel. Thank you so so much for the support so far. Thank you for the love and um, let's roll into today's story. Uh, do you all know President Evariste Ndayishimie, one of the most low-key presidents in Africa? I know most of you even do not know him. President Evariste is the president of the Democratic of Burundi. Of the Republic of Burundi. Do you know the Do you know Burundi, the country? Um, Daishimie is the president of Burundi, and um, he's been hitting the headlines in the recent uh, weeks um, since um, President uh, Evariste uh, said that Burundi does not uh, support LGBTQ. Burundi does not um, support same-sex marriages, and um, he's been so vocal on this issue, and he says that. Even it it means that uh, he won't be getting the aids from the West, grants from the West, financial support from the West. Um, he does not care if it means um, supporting LGBTQ. He'd rather lose all those things that I have mentioned. And um, the president has been so so vocal on this issue. Sometime back, he also said that um, the gay people in Burundi should be jailed. At some point, he said that they should be directed into a stadium and um, people um, should um, hit them with stones and you know it's a very very critical issue for Burundi as a country and um, um, it's an issue that um, is so so serious especially um, him saying um, that they should be stoned number one and number two um, the president mentioning that um, he does not want support from the West if it means supporting LGBTQ and um, we've seen countries like Uganda um, that have come um, straight on these issues and passed into law that Uganda is an anti-LGBTQ country and um, they came about with laws and passed it on their parliament and we saw what happened next after Uganda um, said you know what we do not support LGBTQ we all saw what happened the aftermath of their decision we saw um, President Museveni being uh, getting um, economic sanctions from the U.S. They told them, um, we won't be supporting you anymore since uh, you're going against human rights. And um, President Museveni insisted and said that um, the morals of Africans and our culture does not allow us to support all this stuff. And he said he'd rather stay without the um, loans and um, grants aids from the west and um he stood to his position right now we see um president daishimie from uh, burundi saying that he does not support that and he'd rather not get support from the west and you know um the aftermath of um such um burundi is such a small country um of course with a little bit uh, of um, a small economy and um they will suffer um, because of this decision by their president. I'm not saying that I'm not supporting um, Burundi's president, you know. He's made a nice decision. He said that I do not, um, he's decided that he does not want to be a puppet of the West. He will not accept certain things. He stood um, to the ground and said, you know what, we Africans believe in this and that. That I agree with him 100%. But the sanctions can affect Burundi relatively because Burundi has a really small economy. But um, in a statement, um, Daishimie hinted out of a gay uh, rights and aid. Uh, responding to a reporter, Mr. Daishime, a fervent Catholic, said powerful nations should keep their aid if it comes with an obligation to give rights to homosexual. You know, those are the words... Um, of um, President Daishimie responding to a question. And um, he's a fervent Catholic, said that um, powerful nations should keep their aid if it comes with obligation um, to give rights to homosexual. And uh, he said that for me, I think that if we find these people in Burundi, they should be taken to stadiums and be stoned. And doing so will not be a crime, he said. And uh, he, he also mentioned that homosexuality was like choosing between Satan and God. In this case, homosexuality being Satan. If you want to choose Satan, now go and live in those countries in the West. And I think those who strive to go there want to acquire those habits. 
They should remain there and never bring them to us, the president added. Um, there was a time that um, President Uru Kenyatta, the former Kenyan president, was cornered and asked about these same um, questions by a BBC reporter. And he went silent. And um, what he said is that um, they have a lot of issues affecting Kenyans, including economical constraints. Uh, we, are, we are not self-sufficient, you know. Um, he'd rather concentrate on um, bigger topics rather than issues of LGBTQ. You see, um, President Uru Kenyatta was clever in a way because, at, at, okay, he did not say that he did not want the aid because uh, many African countries are third world and um, in a way they depend on the same. So he was so clever until um, the then President of the United States came to Kenya and um, he cornered President Kenyatta. We are talking about um, Obama. He cornered President Kenyatta into passing into law that gave him to be allowed in Kenya. That's the only time that um, President um, Uru Kenyatta went hard and said that um, we have our cultures and laws that we have to follow our own way. We do not have to follow um, stuff from the West. That's the only time he came clear. I, I, I really wish that um, the president of Burundi would have stayed low-key, saying he does not support it um, for now, until he was cornered to that extent, you know. But um, I do respect his decision because we have our own cultures, you know, our morals as Africans. And um, we've seen this with the president of Ghana. You know, the president of Ghana backed down. Um, Ghana being an anti-gay uh, country. We saw the first lady of um, the United States visiting Ghana. And um, he, the president of Ghana, Nana Akufoado, mentioned to the first lady that, um, you know, it's in the court and um, they'll try and um, favor people, you know, issues with the human rights. And um, people are saying that Nana Akufo Ado is a real puppet in a way because he's looking as at his interests and um, the interest of the country. He needs support. So in a way, he supported them. And we saw um, the First Lady leave a lot of cash in their country because of this same reason. Him um, saying that um, they, they, they'd see what to do with the issue. Sometime back, he was interviewed by a BBC reporter, and um, he said that growing up in London, uh, gayism was illegal, but now it's legal. So he was trying to just put a hint into them that they can work towards that same issue, you know. And um, people are wondering um, what will happen next in Burundi. Will they get sanctions? Um, is the decision of the Burundian president wrong? Um, comment down below. Let me know what you think about this same issue. Has the Burundian president um, gone so fast with this issue? Um, is the issue of stoning bad? Is the issue of not accepting AIDS and support a wrong decision uh, right now for the country? Comment down below. Let me know what you think about this same issue. And guys, can you do consider subscribing to this channel for amazing, amazing African stories, authentic African stories, African diaspora stories, you know, anything African. Thank you guys. Can you support my channel in any way you can? Subscribe, like, comment. You can also donate to my channel through Super Thanks. Thank you so, so much. See you in my next video.